So today we're opening up some Digimon cards. If you guys don't know, I play Digimon a ton. I actually run a green deck and it's completely like competitively viable. I go to tournaments every week for Digimon, but I haven't vlogged it too much on the channel. So if you guys want more Digimon content, let me know. But in today's video, we're opening up this right here, the Double Diamond BT06, the latest set from Digimon. Now this set has a ton of really nice cards in it and uh, they've also changed the way certain things are hollow and stuff like that. There's some expensive cards cards in here too man so if you are a fan of Digimon you guys will definitely enjoy these cards and if you're a subscriber of mine or a fan of Pokemon and are thinking about getting into Digimon I definitely recommend it it is a ton of fun to play also if you do want more Digimon content I'll leave a playlist linked in the description and down below and in the pinned comments I should probably do my Digimon deck profile on this channel so that that'll be coming up very soon and just a heads up before we get into the booster box today we're gonna do a giveaway for the Andromon alt art right here this was given to me at the pre-release event for BT06. So if you guys want to enter for the giveaway to win this alternate art Andromon, all you have to do is comment down below a chase card from this Digimon set that you're after or uh, what you think about the set in general. Are you building any decks? Just tell me about BT06, how you feel about it. And if you're new to Digimon, just say that you're uh, new to Digimon and I might be introducing you to the game. We will announce the winner for this in my uh, upcoming Digimon tournament vlog. So when it comes to these booster boxes, you usually get a uh, little free bonus card at the very top so we're gonna see what card they decided to include for my uh, my booster box hopefully we get something nice and uh, one really cool thing about Digimon if you guys don't know unlike Pokemon you get guaranteed pull rates in every box so you're not gonna necessarily be left empty-handed with a box that is like a bunch of duds let's do this thing let's pop this lid and here we go we got a uh, Pagumon right here. Nice. A Pagumon, I believe, alternate art. Oh, that's really nice. That looks so cool. It looks like he's that one's getting Ooh. squished. I love that art. And we also get a uh, booster pack right here. The one year anniversary promo pack. So we're going to open this up right now. One card inside. Ten different cards you can get in total. So let's see what we can get. And uh, we're going to use a scissor for all of these booster packs because I really prefer using scissors to, to open up a uh, Digimon card. So here we go. What do we have here? Here we have a, and I'll have the values on screen for some of these cards. Nice, we got a Mega Gargomon. <laughs> Sounds like it's gargling like Listerine or something, mouth mouthwash. Uh, cool, green card. Nice to see we pulled a green card because green is my main deck at the moment. Left half of the box first for this uh, for this half of the booster box. And again, make sure you guys uh, check out part two. That is going to be uploaded on the channel. The nice thing about Digimon cards is also you don't have to do any card trick. Basically, the cards are autom automatically in order where the last card is going to be a guaranteed hit. So let's do this. Thing. We got a Skull Mammothmon, Ginkakumon, Octomon, I remember him from the uh, OG days. We got a Orinismon, cool, Penamon, Pukumon, Pukumon, Majaramon, and this is one cool thing they're changing when I mentioned this earlier. BTO6, uh, they're doing this hollow foil like effect for all the rare cards. So before it used to be like a gold trim. See where this is blue? That used to be golden instead, but now they have a hollow effect on it. So that's cool. All right, and uh, let's see our last pull of this pack is. Nice, we got a secret rare or super rare right there for our first pack. We got Dynasmon, it uh, looks pretty cool. Second pack, here we go. I wish Pokemon could do that where it's just the guaranteed last card is always gonna be the hit. I don't know why Digimon has, it just does it from the start and Pokemon is just like, nah, we're gonna not do that. <laughs> All right, we got Tinkermon. Pyrusamon, Dragomon, Boogiemon, Big Mamemon. That card was pretty decent in the pre release tournaments. We got Baluchamon, Impmon, A Flamemon, Pile of Volcamon. Okay, that kind of looks badass. He has like these little things on his shoulder pads. We got a uh, nice, a rare Sora Takenuchi and Mimi Tachikawa. I totally butchered their names. Pretty cool Tamer card. And. Nice, we got two back-to-back -back hits. We got Azulongmon. <laughs> it looks like a dragon, like a serpent dragon with these uh, shackles and stuff, these metal shackles all wrapped around it. Pretty cool card. All right, I don't really play blue. One of my best friends, Robert, he actually plays blue, so we're gonna see if my boy needs that card because he's going to a lot of pre-release events. Like, you guys have met Robert before in like one or two videos on this channel, but he is really, really into Digimon. Like, we go to Digimon tournaments together, which is really fun, and uh, he collects Pokemon, but plays Digimon. I do both 
I collect and play both Digimon and Pokemon. Um, but yeah, it's fun to make some Digimon content every now and then for you guys. So if you guys do like this stuff, make sure you guys hit that like button. We got a Magiramon for our rare hit. And our last card is a uh, Red Reamer option card. All right, cool. Not a big hit there. Third pack up next. I love the quality of these cards. If you guys are still new to Digimon or just haven't uh, experienced opening up Digimon cards, all the cards are actually made in Japan and uh, they're really nice quality. Like you never have to worry about a card having weird centering or whitening, like unlike Pokemon. Pokemon doesn't necessarily have the quality control that Digimon has, which is really nice. So when you get Digimon cards, it's always a nice feeling. All right, we got Gawal Shmael, <laughs> Manticormon. I got this with the pre-release stamp in my uh, pack. So that's our rare for the pack. And our last card is nice we got a secret rare or super rare titamon he looks badass man this art is sick look at that he looks like a threat all this green armor the art on this thing is amazing and that blade that blade looks absolutely gruesome all right hopefully this is a good card again we'll have the pricing for a lot of these cards on screen basically the way digimon works is the better the card is for playability the better the or higher the price it is so basically if you you'll, you'll know a card is good if it's very expensive <laughs> that's one way to tell if it's good or not eosmon because when it comes to digimon a lot of the game is very competitive like there's so many collectible cards you can only get from winning tournaments and playing in tournaments uh, so it really is a game meant to be played not so much pokemon where i think like 80 percent of people who get pokemon don't even play the game we got tai kamiya as a tamer card pretty cool and a oh nice we got a gankukmon oh that looks really cool that's like a fiery thing i think i've uh used this digimon in like a video game before or something like that really cool card honestly we might just make this one part we, we might just make this a one part video if I go through the packs uh, fast enough. In the past, I've had to do two parters because I was really new to Digimon and I didn't really know what I was doing. But now that I know what I'm doing, I have a better sense that I can do this faster. Ooh, Howling Memory Boost. This card's really good for blue. This card came clutch in the, the pre-release events for quite a few people. We got Demi Miramon. A, uh, ooh, nice, we got a Sistermon Blanc. That is a really nice pull. I do want to make a uh, Sistermon kind of themed deck. And our last card is Iron Fisted Onslaught option card. Uh, rare hollow. I think we'll do uh we'll do this one long video. I think we're just gonna do this one long video. So if I mentioned earlier that there was a part two, I am there. I'm very sorry. We're just gonna do the one part. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Well, let's do this thing. We got a Bakoman, Eosmon, nice, a different Eosmon. So they have different names. There's di or different uh, different Eosmon. There's like an Eosmon that's a level four. This is a level five one. We got Ginkakumon. I still have to decide what decks I want to make from this set. But basically the way I do things for Digimon. Ooh, Ogremon. Yes, I love Ogremon. I got two of him in the Digimon pre-release event. He's a really nice card. And a hey, nice, an Entmon green card right there. The way I decide to uh, decide what decks I build is literally based off the best cards I pull. So like if I pull a really good red card, I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to make the red deck because I already have one of the expensive cards. May as well. So, uh, so yeah, but maybe, maybe my mind will change. Maybe my mind will change. We'll see what other decks come out from this set because there's a lot of cards in this set. 113 cards in total. All right, we got a Manticormon, another one of him. And our last card is a Sistermon Seal. Nice, another Sistermon right there. I like the cute little hat. Definitely some merch that uh, is probably going to come out with that if there isn't merch already. And we're almost done via the first half of this box. So let's see how this thing keeps going. I really enjoy opening up Digimon cards. The art is so nice. Look at this art, man. The art on Digimon cards is phenomenal. And almost all cards are like a full art style, which is really, really cool. Like, look at this. This is just a regular common. But like, look, if you were to put this in a binder, it's just going to look amazing. All right. Bulkmon, Sunomon, Savior Huckmon, Toropiamon, Rattle, Rattle Star, a uh, blue option card. He looks like a villain. That's really cool looking. And a hey, nice, an Ancient Troymon. So this card is also potentially really, really good. It might be competitively viable in a green deck. I don't know if it's going to work with my current green deck, but we're going to see. But like, look at this. We've got two really dope green, uh, green level sixes right Right there let's keep it moving we have some more packs to do we got three more packs left from the right side and here we go we got discord going off on the background let me just mute my computer parasaruman alekmon penjayamon deltamon mammothmon mermukusumon nanamon Gabumon, gotta love Gabumon. There's some really nice Gabumons in this set, or like alternate arts, I believe. Pagumon, a rever er, re reverse hollow. This is not Pokemon. A uh, rare hollow, Iron Fistered Onslaught, and 
Ooh, nice. Hey, wow, that art is awesome. This is an alternate art, Titamon. Okay, because we pulled Titamon earlier in the video. So this is an alternate art. That is sick. So it's exactly the same card, if you guys don't know how Digimon is. But it's exactly the same card, but just different art. That's cool. I have the value on this one right here on the right side, and the value on this one on the left. So we'll see which one is more valuable. But that looks really cool. That is sick. But one really nice thing about Digimon cards is there's so many alternate arts available. And uh, if you really like collecting a particular Digimon, it's, it just makes building a binder like a, a lot, a lot of fun. Also a little expensive. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got Apemon, Modoki Betamon, that's cool. We got the Goblins, Eosmon, this is the level four version of it. Shoutmon, Ching oh, this card is nasty. This card is really nice uh, if you get it, uh, hit, if you, if your opponent hits it in security, it's really, really nice. Uh, we got Mistamon, oh, we got Mistamon, we got Aboramon, Babamon, Agumon, Agumon. I might make an, I already have a, like a Greymon deck already for red, but I might make a Greymon deck based off the BTO6 cards. We'll find out soon enough. Oh, there we go. We got a hit Magna Kidmon and nice a underworld's call this card was actually pretty decent i actually used this as my main card in my pre-release deck when i played so let's put that to the side and now on to the final pack from the left side all right so we were busting through we're busting through these packs right now we're only eight minutes and 45 seconds in uh to recording the left half so i definitely can put both halves of this uh booster box into one video so i don't have to spread them out across two we got nanamon bakomon azuramon starbamon this guy's really cool or girl Whatever it is, this Digimon is really cool. I really like this Digimon. We got Big Maimon, Kinkakumon. Look at it. Look at the bitties. <laughs> look at her bitties. Yo, she's she hits the gym. She got like her body, her abs, everything. Digimon does not hold back when it comes to um, proportions on certain Digimon. I gotta say, I gotta say. We got Sistermon cell right there. Very nice, very nice, rare and nice. A Morphomon. Cool. I pulled this before too at the pre-release event, so now I have two of these. Is it really good? Not really, but it could be good for a uh, Eosmon deck, which I might build since we keep pulling Eosmon. All right, so I have a big mess on my desk we're gonna clean this up and then we're gonna get back for part two all right here we go we have 12 packs left of double diamond bt06 and again don't forget to enter the giveaway just comment down below what you guys think about bt06 are there any cards you're after any decks you're trying to build let me know in the comments down below and of course hit that like button as well i'm going to do a youtube short and a tiktok basically of uh, all the hits from bt06 that we get as well so make sure you guys uh follow me on tiktok and of course subscribe with notifications if you guys are new to the channel but here we go first pack from the right side let's do this thing we got a hey, nice a hey, gundramon yo gundramon is badass look at this guy look at this dude he has like a revolver as a, a arm as a hand like the the guns and stuff with the way they do the guns and stuff and, and like that and, and digimon is so cool so that's a nice nice pull gundramon and a magnamon talking about digimon with uh, lots of guns on them <laughs> we got all the bullets all the shell casings everywhere hopefully we can get like a really nice uh, uh, secret rare we haven't pulled the secret rare yet so maybe maybe just maybe we get something here we go we got ferris mon a judgment of the blade uh big main mon bulk mon mega dramon elect mon tropical tropical venom <laughs> why was i saying it that funny uh pagumon oh morphomon all right and a cutting edge and again if you guys uh, actually haven't yet looked into digimon the starter decks are actually really good like some of the some of the decks you can literally just buy two of the starter decks put them together and you have a competitively like viable deck um but yeah there's a lot of a lot of the cards in digimon so uh the, the there's like no strict meta necessarily i want to say at least when i go to digimon tournaments there's a lot of variety unlike uh, other games like pokemon where there's like a clearly defined meta but here we go underworld's call and a Ooh, a Huckmon level three. Oh, that's the very first time. Very first time I've pulled a Huckmon. That's awesome. What a cute doggo-like uh, Digimon right there. And uh, again, if you guys want to see, like I'm going to do tournament vlogs. I already do tournament vlogs for Pokemon stuff, but we are going to, we we should, we should start doing some Digimon stuff. So if you guys want to see uh, how Digimon tournaments go and stuff like that, some more vlogging content from your boy, definitely consider subscribing. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, we go, we go again. We have a rattle star as our option rare and our last card is a nice a skull graymon oh that looks awesome 
what a fantastic Digimon. Skull Greymon, one of my favorite Digimon growing up. And I gotta say, he looks really, really badass right here. I love it. When you trash this card in your hand using one of your effects, you may place it under one of your purple Digimon at the bottom of its Digivolution cards. And then it gets the Retaliation Inherit Ability. That is awesome. And then when attacking, uh, you may trash one card in your hand to have this Digimon gain 3,000 DP for the turn. Wow, that is a really really solid card okay i like that a lot next pack from bt06 let's do this thing uh, <laughs> the pronunciation of this card gizamon we're gonna call it gizamon iasmon ginkakumon bakomon dragomon reinforcing reinforcing memory boost this card is actually really nice for yellow we got boogiemon a uh, pukumon Fly a bullet with the under boob right there. <laughs> we got Pinamon, a Magna Kidmon. I get a lot of him. I think I have four of him now or three of him. Hey, nice. Eosmon. This is the level six version and it's a hybrid. It's both white or it can uh, digivolve from white and green. That card looks amazing. Look at that art. Look at the way that shines. That is sick. For each Tamer in play, you may place one level five or lower Eosmon from your trash to the top of this Digimon Digivolution cards in any order. If you place two or more cards with this effect, delete one of your opponent's Digimon. Oh, that's kind of nasty. And then on your turn for every three Digivolution cards, uh, this Digimon has gains a security attack plus one. Pretty beefy. 13K attacker as well. That's really strong. Hopefully that's a good card. <laughs> I, I haven't I actually haven't bothered looking too in depth into the set and like the values of all the cards. So uh, when I have the prices pop up i will be equally surprised as you are and we just pulled the eosmon but now we got the eosmon level five maybe i do build an eosmon deck we'll find out soon enough but here we go next pack of bt06 double diamond we got a bow huckmon parasurumon wizardmon blasted disaster pile volcamon a matt ishida tamer card nice nice all the tamer cards in the set are all the main characters but like in their teenage uh, teenage form <laughs> teenage years funny to say that and a minoa belushi minoa belushi i think this card is important for the eosmon decks that's uh, that name sounds familiar from those like search top whatever uh for for certain cards and here we go oops there we go oh oh my god i totally ruined the hit I, I, we know we have a hit now because i totally just pulled the hit out um, but let's see what it is anyways megadramon bulkmon eldramon deputymon flame mon a gwalt schwammer Mojiamon, Ancient Troymon, nice, another one of uh, these, and a Beelstermon, oh my gosh, look at those mommy milkers, wow, <laughs> oh my god, uh, look at the guns too, yo, she's like, she is kitted out, her knee pads look really cool too, it looks like another, like, it looks like her knees are Digimon, that is awesome, she has like an A pack as well, yo, she really, really hits the gym, oh my gosh, big pull right there, not too shabby, all right, let's keep it moving, I think from now on, I should definitely research the set heavily before I open up packs so I know exactly like what the chase cards are because right now we're just going into it kind of blind it is fun though it is fun it's just I also don't know how valuable the cards are so if I pull like a super mega valuable card my reaction might be on the more of the low key side you feel me <laughs> all right here we go Ooh, another ancient troymon that is now three of these i think we pulled and a pulsemon and nice pulsemon definitely a uh, one of the big fan favorites out there as well by the way i do have an ebay store i'll leave a link down below and uh, basically all the cards i don't plan to use for decks i will be selling on my ebay store and as you guys know digimon cards like this set is pretty much sold out at a lot of places so if you really are on the hunt for some digimon cards make sure you check out your boys ebay store i'll leave it linked down below i also have a pokemon card store called sneakertalktcg.com but we can only sell pokemon cards uh in order to sell digimon you have to have an actual physical store all right we got ornismon a sistermon blanc and a Ooh, wow 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 we we got agumon bond of bravery this is a huge huge card from this set if you guys haven't noticed yet um he's actually on the pack art so that's a huge huge hit wow we actually pulled um the Garurumon, i believe like the the other version like other homeboy right there but i sold him to somebody at the other uh, tournament for like seven bucks we're down now to the final three packs it seems like we've gotten quite a quite a few hits from this box so i'm very happy with uh, with the pulls that we got so far but here we go Tropical Venom, Apemon, Jizamon, <laughs> Eosmon, Acid Injection, Chiramon, 
a Junkmon, Rare Matchmon. It's like a motorcycle kind of vibe. There's like a tire there at the front. And Agumon is in a go-kart right there in the back. That's kind of funny. All right, anyways, our last card is a uh, Rare Sora and Mimi final two packs. Let's do this thing. And snippity snip. Make sure we don't cut the card. That would be a travesty. Chikuramon, Shoutmon, Mistamon, Goblimon, Gobble Gobble Tropical Venom, Bao Huckmon, Deputymon, a Gabumon, Savior Huckmon, a Sunomon, a Tai Kamiya. Nice, nice, nice. We did this for the Agumon deck if we end up wanting to build it. And a. Ooh, a Wyvern, Wyvern's Breath. One of your opponent's Digimon gets a minus 15,000 DP for the turn. This basically is going to delete Breath. pretty much any Digimon. That's huge. That's nice. And again, if you guys haven't yet entered the giveaway uh, for the Andromon alternate art we're giving away, just comment down below what you guys think about BTO6. Have you pulled anything nice? Are you opening packs? Are you just buying singles? Are you bu buying any, building any decks? Let me know. Talk to me about BTO6 in the comments, and I'll talk back, and uh, we'll pick a winner for the next Digimon vlog when I go. All right, here we go. We got Kinkamon, Strabamon, Tropic, Trop, Tor, Toropiamon. Why does it tropical? Mimichamon and Agumon, Izzy and Joe for our last rare slot. And now the last big hitter of the video is, ooh, a Rebellion rare. All right, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.